Now we're going to add our dark along to the side using our number two brush. Working on our body. We are switched to our number 10 brush so we could cover more area. And it blends better that way, especially in a larger area. I'm going to add some light right up to her head. I'm going to blend that in as we go. We're going to keep it soft. Add some dark, long white part of her collar. I'm going to add some dark along the white part of her chest. Black underneath her chin. Highlights and shadows and blending as we go. There we go. The light's coming in behind her head. We're darkening in the front. Now we'll add more light for the white fur that's on her chest. Around her nose. We'll kind of bring that out. Now we're going to work on her collar. First of all, we're going to add our black, put in our black lines to where her collar is. We're going to add our white on top of those black lines and we're going to create a reflected light of the metal because she's wearing a metal collar. I'm going to detail up that collar, make it look really good. shadow along the side and we're blending in as we go. You want to remember that blending gives it a more realistic look. You don't want real sharp lines. Okay, we're going to take our number 10 brush and we're going to kind of shadow underneath. We'll work on the background now. We're going to use our green, white, yellow and a touch of Mars black. Fill in around her face for the background. We're going to make that real blurry looking. Just going to fill in that foliage for the background. And now we're going to put in the fur branches. We're going to be using our fan brush. The fan brush works really great for foliage. See how that works? That's pretty awesome, huh? We'll get that all filled in. We'll work around the canvas. We're just framing it in. We want to create that Christmas wreath. We'll just make those fur branches. Some fur branches around her chest. Along the bottom there. We'll just fill all that in. Just create whatever you feel that's real Christmas-like. Add a little bit of light into the branches to kind of bring it out. We're going to create the petals of the poinsettia by using the red. 
and we're going to be shadowing with a touch of black. and we're going to highlight it with some white. You see how that's working? It's looking pretty nice, huh? We'll be doing those for the other side. We'll fill it in with some red and shadow with the black and then we'll highlight it with the white. And we're taking our green and our black together and we're going to put it into the center of the poinsettia. Take some yellow and we'll dab in right on top of that. We'll bring out the center of the poinsettia and then we'll add a little bit of white onto the poinsettia leaves to bring them out a little bit more. Now we'll work on some holly right up on the top corner. We'll take some green and some black together to make the green really dark. And we'll add a touch of yellow to warm it up. And we'll just create our holly. Now the berries automatically appear. Since we were running short of time, I just went ahead and skipped the part of creating the berries. Now we're going to sign our work. Once your painting is signed, we're going to paint the edges black and that way you can hang it up on the wall without a frame. Hello, we're back. That was a fun show. I'm glad you could join me. You have a great day and happy painting. I'll see you next time. Bye.